All right, hello everybody and welcome back to the Bourbon Bar. I'm Holden. I'm Casey. And today we are going to be fighting to the death. And when I say fighting to the death, I actually mean figuring out who's the most superior whiskey taster. You see, there's been a little debate over our live streams and we just kind of want to settle this. So we're going to make a new, uh, got a new thread for the Bourbon Bar channel. Absolutely. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have a whiskey contest or like a... Um, a whiskey battle per se, uh, and I'm gonna pour him a blind. He's gonna pour me a blind, and, or a blind glass, and then we're both gonna have to write down our answers and guess, uh, and then we'll do it, you know, a couple times. We'll have like seasons, kind of like um, the bourbon junkies do, and we'll kind of just because it's fun. We're gonna figure out who's we're the gonna, taste. We're gonna keep score every time, and then at the end we'll have punishments at the end of each season. So. I think it'll be fun for you guys to watch. It's going to be fun for us to kind of battle it out, duke it out, see which one's better. But, hey, it's all in good fun. Absolutely. So that being said, I'm going to step out of the room. Casey's going to pour me a blind, and then we'll do it around the other way. Find a bottle. Let's find a bottle for Casey. All right, so we're back. I poured Casey's. Casey poured mine. Now we got spicy water going in the glass here oh, for Casey. I'm gonna drink mine straight from the bottle. Yes, much good, thank you. Much good, much good. So, um, what we got here is some whiskey, and the, the things that we have to guess on these whiskeys are as followed. We have to guess the proof. We have to guess the price. We have to guess the finish. finish, if it is finished or not. And then we're also gonna be guessing the type. So bourbon, scotch, rye, whatever, etc. Um, what we're not gonna be doing is Tennessee whiskey because quite frankly, Tennessee whiskey is bourbon. It's got the same rules, so it's bourbon, technically. Um, technically. So if we say bourbon and Tennessee whiskey, close enough. But anything else like light whiskey or wheat, wheat whiskey, that's all its own category. So that's that. Gotta call it uh, up. So those are all worth one point each if we, and then the bottle guess is worth a point. And if we guess a bottle and it's the correct type but wrong batch, like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is a type and then batch would be like A122. If we say Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, that's a half point. If we get the batch right, then that's the other half point. Mm -hmm. So correct. that being said, let's go ahead and dive into these. I'm pumped. This is right. a spicy meatball. I got a look at that bearing here. I don't even know what the heck I'm smelling. Just give me a piece of paper. I gotta write down my answers. I just bring the paper over here. We can write them down at the um, same time. This definitely smells finished. Or it's double oaked. You fucked me over on double oak before. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. All right. Mine does smell very high proof. A large amount of an oak presence in here. Um, oh man, I guess getting that proof is tough. It's got some like maple, like maple syrupy, like oakness in it. Could be a double oak product. Not gonna rule that out. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Mine's either double oaked or it's finished in something. I think mine's a little bit higher proof. Like possibly a little over 110 or right around 110 proof. I don't know. I want to taste it. Woo! That that feels hotter than the last thing we just drank, and the last thing that we drank was it tasted hotter than it was. So this could be playing into the 110s, um, 115 area in proof. Hmm. Um, man, you know what it actually would fit that bill would be like a peerless double oak, but. I don't know if I'm quite leaning there yet. It doesn't have as much sweetness. It, it feels like there's a little bit of like a, a savory oak um, and some like maybe some leathery notes in this. Ooh, this is good. Mm. 
I want to say this is right around, I think it's a little less than 110. I think it's right around like 105. Um, very, very good. Uh, quite a bit of oak actually. Um, dark red fruit, which is very nice. Compliments the oak. Um, it is a little sweet mid palate. It's kind of more like a, like almost like a maple syrupy kind of a vibe. Um, not that I'm copying Holden over here, but that is kind of what it tastes like. Um, I'm going for a second sip after I cleanse the palate. I gotta say, mine it definitely has a tannic aspect on the back end of it. So whatever this is, it's got a lot of oak, a lot of oak character, and a, a decent proof. So it could be one of those um, higher proof Eliza Craig to, or um, barrel proof batches. It could be in the, um, it's not good enough, I don't think, to be Parker's Heritage double oak bourbon, but it's got that same kind of tannic aspects to it. So I'm looking for something probably high age, uh, high proof, and very oaky. Okay. I think I'm definitely confirmed that this is not finished. Or wouldn't you consider double? Double oak is double a finish. finish. Yep. Okay. All right then. Well, it's not ruled that out yet. And if it ends up being like a scotch, then finish would just be yes, because it's finished in bourbon barrels or wine barrels or whatever. Okay guys, we're back. Uh, and we did some deliberation, we got some answers. So I'll start. Um, I said the proof of this bad boy, I think it's 111. Uh, I said it's not finished, I said that it was bourbon. Um, priced at about $200 in my bottle guess for this. It's Four Roses, 135th anniversary limited edition. I think this is, it, it tastes like it's got proof. It tastes like it has age. There's a lot of oak presence in this and some spice, um, but it's not like blowing my mind. I feel like this is a bottle that would disappoint me. I don't know why. Part of me thought that this could be the, the decanter series from Old Fitz, but it feels like, it feels like I want more to be happening in this blend, and it, it's good, but not spectacular. So you're saying you don't like it that much? You do your, your answers first, and then we'll dive okay. in. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared for what you're going to say. All right. I, I went ahead and said the proof is about 116, kind of hedging my bet there. Not sure. I have, like, if it ain't the bottle guess, I'm pretty much screwed, so... Um, I said it was finished, um, I said that it was bourbon, I said that it was $205, kind of hedged my bet there too, because, yeah, you'll see. And then, uh, the bottle guess, um, was a Joseph Bagna cigar blend, which is why I kind of hedged my bet on either, because they kind of fluctuate, because obviously they're different batches, so. I think I'm going to grab Holden's bottle. You scared Holden? I'm actually definitely terrified because after saying that this one it doesn't feel super special, I have a feeling he's gonna pull out one of my favorite bottles off the shelf. But no, it just that's not why I asked you that, but it I'm just like I don't know, something about it makes me wish more was going on. Oh I looked at that! I I was gonna get I honest to honest to Christ was gonna guess this bottle. Yeah, he looked at it for a long time too. I, I'm just like, no. I didn't think that it would be, like it doesn't necessarily have a bean profile. Like it doesn't. I was right about the age and the oak presence. This is very oaky. Um, proof is only 100 proof. This drinks is drinking way warmer than 100 proof. Have you had this yet? I forget if you tried it when I bought it. Maybe, not, yeah. maybe like one little sip of it. But. Um, crazy. Okay, but I said 111 proof, so no point there. Uh, I said that it was not finished. True. Which it's not. This no is point. just a classic boyvin. Um, I said that this was bourbon, and in fact, it is. Uh, I said it was $200. It's not $200. It was like 150 $130. I thought you said 120 120 I don't know. When it came out, it was closer to like 150 I think. But it was probably like 120 so no point for that. Um, and then I said four roses, it wasn't, so I got two points on the day, baby. Those points. So let's see if Casey 
can go ahead and beat that. So, so basically, if I don't get the model guess because everything else follows suit, I'm pretty much screwed. So I think you actually, I think you actually got two points. <gasps> actually, no, you don't have. To. Okay, okay, I'm gonna pull out the model. Yeah, I suck. It's on the shelf. Uh, it's not this. It's one behind it, though. You, oh, yeah. you know, I even said it was bookers. Yeah. It's not, though. It's a little book. A little book. Chapter 6 to the finish. This, this monstrosity of a bottle. First of all, I love this bottle. It was very, very controversial it when it came out. super good. So, you said 116 proof, and it is 117.4. So you looks like you're gonna end up tying because you said this was finished and it is in fact finished. Um, it is finished. Yep, and it is finished and it's got like five to four different finishes on it. We got hickory smoke barrels, maple wood staves, um, apple wood smoked barrels, and cherry wood staves. Um, you said that this is a bourbon, and while there is bourbon in this mixture, um, four out of the five whiskeys in here are malt whiskeys, American malt whiskey. There's one, there's a five year Kentucky bourbon in here and the other four whiskeys are four year straight malt whiskey hey, with the crazy finishes. This bottle is designed for the finishes. So, so I don't um, get a point for bourbon. You don't get a type, uh, point for the type. Um, it's not bourbon. True, because there's more than one whiskey. In order for, yeah, in order for it to be bourbon, it would only have to be bourbon. Um, this is blended straight whiskeys is the designation right. of this bottle. Um, and then you said that it was $205. It was uh, 115 I believe. So no point there. And you said it was Joseph Magnus and it's not. So Casey and I, first event, first battle of the season and it's tied up. This is tough. Two to two. Oh. How, what do you think? When I smelt your glass, do you want to know what I smelt? Uh, after like smelling mine the whole time, oh, lemon bars. This bottle gives me so much citrus. I it's crazy. It almost smells like a rye now that the glass is empty. Smell that. It does, but it's like floral, like cleaner. Oh my god, and like an obnoxious amount of caramel bomb hitting me in the face. I actually, when I first tasted this, I I got a hint of a smoke. Like a hint of a light smokiness in it that from all the very um, smoke stage. Interesting, and I know a lot of people didn't like this bottle, right? A lot of people didn't like it because they paid $115 for whiskey that was only five years old. They were like, oh, age is whatever, but fuck age. Little Book was meant for exploration, not age. So there you have it. The, folks. More, the more I drank it, I loved it even more. I, I really like this bottle, it's so unique. But that being said, tied up two to two after the first outing. Um, this was great. If you guys liked the video and you guys want to see more, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'll be doing this probably every, uh, like once every two or three weeks or so like that and build up about four or five times for a season. Uh, and then at the end, we have punishments. So, that being said, um, Casey, what should these guys comment? In the comments, let us know if Little Book Chapter 6 was underrated or overrated. We'd like to hear your comments. But, for now, we'll see you all in the next class. Cheers.